I have this thing here. It's got a 1MZ in it, and as much as I enjoy the 1MZ, it's just not awesome enough. So, I'm just going to increase the level of awesome by about six times. And a pretty surefire way to make a 1MZ awesome would be to use these two. So these are GSXR 750 throttle bodies. The GSXR 750 is an EFI motorcycle. These throttle plates are 42 millimeters, which are exactly the same as the ports on the 1MZ. So these, it's obviously a four cylinder. Um, I was pretty much shit out of luck as far as options for three cylinder EFI motorcycles go. So I'm just gonna make these things work. The foils are in a gang of two. Sorry for the noise there. They're bolted together, front and back. Now, all I'm gonna do is pretty much create this part here on this part. So the first thing is going to be to lop off uh, one th throttle and expose the shaft and then I'm just going to have to deal with like what happens from there. I'm just going to have to make it up as I go a little bit. So please bear with me because I've never done this before and I haven't managed to find anyone else who's done it. What I've got is a stainless steel plate and I had this made at a uh, local laser cutter shop so this uh, fits the flange of the 1MZ intake so I'll, uh, I'll take that off and show you how that that fits on the the ports on this are made round now the ports on the 1MZ are not all perfectly round like these are I did this on purpose these are slightly undersized at 41 millimeters and that 41 millimeters overlaps the inside of the hole of all the ports so that I can match port the underneath of this later on and that will actually match the ports. But it's more important because I'm going from a round tube to a weird shape, I can use this as an adapter as well. And that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. This is um, 304 stainless, this is eight millimeters. If anyone's interested in doing this build I had a few of these made because I want to just help people out. Um, if anyone wants to do this, they can still do it. And you don't need to pay a million dollars for laser cutting or whatever. I have a few of these on, on the shelf still. So if anyone wants one, hit me up and I'll sort you out no matter where you are. All right, so the first part is done. Relieve these of their extra number four. So you might be wondering why well, I've cut them off there. Now, I'll reveal that later on. This took a little while to figure out myself. I've left myself a little bit of a doodle on here so that I can uh, shape this to whatever shape. I need to, or to tap it, and I can make an adapter. I've left a little wing on the side as well, so I can put a flat plate on there. Whatever I need, like I don't want to, don't want to screw myself up and um, cut myself short, <laughs> as it were. Um, so, yeah, I left all this on the this piece, so I just cut this straight off of there, and um, I left this piece on. So again, I'm not sort of selling myself short. Like I said, no one's done this before, as it seems. So, I'm just gonna take this as it goes. Now, the next part is the pipe. Now, I couldn't get the pipe that I wanted, so I just got some 50 mil pipe, and I'm just gonna make it the right size. Now, I need 42 mil ID, and that pipe over there is 50 mil ID, so, what I, that's 1.6 mil pipe, so what I need is about 45 mil OD. 
I couldn't get 45, I could only get 46, so either way, I was going to be cutting it, and I wanted to leave myself a little bit of room. Plus, it's 50mm pipe, I can always use 50mm pipe everywhere, but I can't use 45 a dick. Alright, I've got the intake off, and you'll see that the ports are on an angle, so they, they oppose each other, so uh, 2 and 4 and 6 go that way, and naturally 1 and uh, 3 and 5 go the other way. So we need it, well, we want to match those ports. Um, the, the angle of those ports, I'm sorry, uh, for the actual velocity stacks to like work properly uh, and they'll be efficient and all that. So I actually measured the, the port angle uh, to be this. So this is the downward stream into the head and this is the, the line of level between the fuel rails um, on, on top of the motor. So this is, this is the angle that I need to produce the uh, pipes coming off of the flange from the from the top of the motor. So what I'm going to do is mark this out, do a little bit of maths, find the numbers, mark, mark my chop saw, and then start um, cutting a few bits off. Okay, let's see. 30 degrees. So after I've got them all tacked in, sort of welded in between the pieces as well, and we have the basic formwork of it. Alright, this is the 1MZ TPS, it's the one I'm using. I've just knocked the back off to uh, do some testing with it. You can see it's a, a flat drive. So all I've done is just make it flat. Wow, it's uh, incredibly difficult. So this uh, this guy just goes on on here and turn it around here, so it's uh, spring loaded in its position. And all I'm going to have to do is make a bracket, or just make a flat bracket with tangs on it, and I can uh, bolt it through this piece here and that'll be sorted. Just have to recalibrate the TPS in the ECU when I commission that, but that's pretty awesome. Well, with a buttload, welding, grinding, die grinding, all those sort of things, this is what I ended up with. So the next step would be to get the throttles, get the tubes and uh, match them all up. I'll meet you at the vise. Alright, to link these onto the, the manifold that I made, just going to use some radiator tube. This is uh, from a, a Land Cruiser. So what I'm going to do is um, sort of like just push it on here. Just going to select the best ones for the job. Now this, because these uh, manifold tubes are uh, sort of over here because the ports don't match the throttles that were made for a motorbike a much more displacement funnily that um, so the ports are a little bit out which is why I wanted to actually use uh, this hose so what I'm going to do sort of choose the best hose that I can and put that on there and let's go to a smaller one Let's cut on a bit of an angle. And with that there, now what I'm going to use for that to link these on because using hose clamps would be pretty futile because I would be using lots of them. I'm going to use these little steel bands. I'm not going to join them up just yet, but 
these little steel bands when you pull them tight. Will look very, very neat. And um, yeah, definitely hold it on. So these are like a self-tightening thing. And um, there's like a little ball inside there and sort of push that through. I'm not gonna do this one because, well, I pretty much ruin it. And um, yeah, it'll like self-tighten and um, there'll be a, a linkage between these two plates and that'll actually hold it together. So these will just be, well, you know, performing a minor seal as it were. You can see that once I've got them on, kind of all different sizes. So I'm just gonna sort of mark them, mark them flat, straight, and then sort of trim them all to length. And then they should like push straight on be all good. So I've put all the, all the pipes on, join the throttles up. So I made this plate for the top. The plate's just a piece of aluminium. Just uh, knocked it down in the middle and uh, holds it, throws together. It's pretty, pretty tight, like, like tighter than the grip of the vise actually was. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, obviously just like fell out of the vise. Um, so yeah, all I need to do now is to uh, do this uh, throttle position sensor malarkey. And here's the, TPS fitment. So it looks like I've skipped a few steps. I'm really sorry, but um, <laughs> and uh, camera, camera. Cool these. So yeah, there's the TPS and how the TPS mounts up. I've um, two bolt holes here, but that's pretty much the final product. I've put the bands on. The bands look pretty good. They look pretty sharp. Um, especially the little dingles hanging off them. Um, I'm not too sure if I'd probably use these bands again or you know, CV bands. would probably be a lot better uh, as far as retaining it. But these are just holding a seal. Those those pipes are really well over the, um, the throttles there. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, throw it on the motor and you can have a look at what it looks like on the motor. Okay, life's well, all about the details. So I know you're thinking, wow, he didn't talk anything about the linkage he was gonna use. So because they're bike throttles, I'm gonna use a cable to join them together. This is a cable off of a car that I wrecked. It's a uh, 2006 Suzuki Swift. Uh, this is the, the uh, actual throttle cable from it. Uh, because bikes have a, uh, a two directional uh, linkage system to pull the uh, the handle back, not sure what it's called, probably just the throttle control, I suppose. Um, yeah, because it's a two way thing, uh, the throttle will pull and push at the, at the same time. And so I'm just gonna use this uh, linkage uh, to join both the throttles. Then when one opens uh, by pulling, the other one should pull the other direction and it will pull on this cable, which in turn will, by order of science pull on this cable and pull the other one open uh, so i'll just um go ahead and hook that up now i'm gonna have to make some minor modifications to this cable to uh, fit the linkages that i've got there's not a lot of room on the actual of, of the eyelet on the the jigsaw uh, throttle plate so I'm, i'd rather modify this lead section to suit that instead So you see this one here, 
is a main throttle linkage. This will go like to the pedal. And this one here is the link that goes like all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just uh, bring the camera around and I'll show you the path that that travels. We've got here, it's the main linkage. It'll pull sort of that way. This one will also pull that way. And then it will actually pull the cable on the other side. And you'll be able to see this is where the TPS fits on. This is the shaft connected to the, the throttles. So when I pull on this guy here, actually pulls my desk around <laughs> and it reliably pulls the throttle every single time. So a lot of people ask me why I would use a cable over a mechanical linkage uh, rod or anything like that and basically wow the engineering that was gonna have to happen for the uh, the rod to work was just gonna be insurmountable especially like for this project so just just to go with the with the cable and that was one of the reasons why I use these bike throttles in the in the first place is actually one of the selection criteria so you can see that that pretty much works and uh, 